Yo, hey, I'm word. that boy that be emulated and imitated, never underrated. Rhymes I created, melodiously illustrated. It's no wonder I made it, coming with stars anticipated. In case I've been underestimated, my team has the greatest. Created my own phonetics, encoded in my genetics. It's hectic how they ponder the phrases that I projected. It never rejected. Though it's criticized and inspected, they love the flow, they catch it. That's why it be highly respected. We recite past pain branded in places I dare not forget. Leaving behind unhealed scars brewed in hatred, simmered with visions of murder, sprinkled with thoughts of suicide from early childhood through me, adulthood. Welcome back, West Philly, to Young World Radio, WPEB 88.1 FM. This your man, James, a.k.a. Marie's on the ones and twos, and we are in the, in the building with Miss Nasuni. Yeah, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. That's what's up. Um, So, you're a poet, huh? Yes, I am. So, what inspired you to be a poet? Really, it's funny. Um, Actually, when I was five, I met poet activist Nikki Giovanni on a playground where I grew up in New York City and I was actually writing little stuff back then it's about five six years old and she inspired me to really really put more into it and as I got older um, I just started writing more and then my artwork just came to play with it as well what did, what did your poems be about like what do you describe your oh poetry? it depends it, it, it's mainly experiences uh, what's going on in the world, you know, life in general. Life. It, 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 it became even more in high school, but then also I had a 20-year writer's block, which is really funny, and I picked it back up in 2002. Actually, I started rewriting again after a 20-year absence. I really thought I had lost it at one point until a friend of mine um, I, I don't remember exactly what he said to me, but I, I remember it impacted me. And that next day I started writing and um, I haven't put down the pen since then. Nowadays people try to tell other people trying to be artists, poet, poetists, singers or rappers that, that, that they're not going to make it. They might as well just give up on their life. Like, that's because they're haters. That's, the, that's what keeps me that's what, well, that's what keeps me. <laughs> that's motivated. because they're haters and you know they don't have anything going on in their life so they don't want to see anything positive going on in someone else's life. You know because I come from a line of artists and writers in my family so between family and friends I've always had some sort of support. You know, so I've never ran into that type of negativity about, you know, you know, might as well give it up, poetry's not going nowhere, no. See, I'm a young man myself and I'm doing something positive, so look y'all, if y'all around a negative person, if you a positive person around a negative person, move them away from you and go to somebody ne positive. Because these negative people out here are not helping you achieve what you want to achieve. You can always achieve more with more positive influences around you. You know, a lot of our youth, you know, get pulled into these streets and they don't even finish school. And the next thing you know, they're dead, they're buried, our kids are gone. You know, and, okay, I'm starting to get emotional. And it's really sad because, you know, there's, it's like, where, where are the fathers, where are the mothers, you know, where are the leaders that's supposed to be helping to direct them, you know, and they're, and they're lost. So you're a poet and also an artist, she got some, she got two paintings in this building today. She got a painting. It's red, green, white, and it's like, it's like orange, and like it's orange, but like you got all these type of nice designs and this stuff. This particular piece here is actually done in a calligraphy called Kufi Square, and um, it doesn't matter which way you turn it, it says God's name in Kufi Square. And it's a piece that, like I said, I did this a few years ago. So it says God? Or it says God. A law, which means God. So if someone who just wants a copy, they can hit me up on Facebook. They can hit me up on MySpace. Or they can hit me up on, um, oh my goodness, my email address, which is not Sunni. I mean, if you put N-A-S-S-U-N-N-I, if you Google that, all my pages will pop up. <laughs> Seriously. Hit her up on MySpace, hit her up on Facebook, hit her up on Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, this is WPEB 88.1 FM Radio, and this is your man James, aka my reason to build it with Miss Nasuni and DJ Minister L. Holla!